Hi guys, so I just washed my face like twice um, uh, and I got some acne going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my mask of Zen to kind of spot treat any places that I need. Um, this is a clay face mask for normal to oily skin, hence this forehead or her. Um, the active ingredients are the tea tree oil and the clay. Um, so basically it's going to fight against any imbalance and kind of dry up any excess oil that's going on. Um, I do not recommend using this too often um, because even though it is safe, you know, it's paraben free, no SLS, it's great for you, It um, it's very strong. So I would only recommend using it like once or twice a week, um, especially if your skin is not super oily but only a little bit oily. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Basically you just put a little bit of water on your face and then put it where you want it. I don't have my contacts in so don't judge me. Okay. I'm just going to dry my hand off. I don't want to get it in the, in the mask. Look how cool that is. Ooh, I am not a huge fan of clay masks, but this is what does the trick. So if you are a fan of clay masks, you're going to fall in love in two seconds. If you're not, um, it's still going to be really beneficial, which is why I'm using it. The other mask is my favorite. You guys see me post about it all the time. And that is called Skin Polish. And that's the one for dry skin. And um, it's really hydrating for your face. So if you have combo, you're going to want both. Really, if you have skin, you're going to want both. Uh, but this one's going to be really beneficial if you are acne prone or have greasy, um, oily skin. And the other one's going to be really beneficial if you have um, more dry skin in general. But both can be used for both types of skin. Really, because skin is just crazy sometimes. I'm going to put a little bit right here. Feel one coming on. And sorry, i got to zoom in in real life to see what I'm looking like right now. Okay. Yeah, I totally squeezed some zits that I should not have squeezed. Don't tell. Don't tell. Okay, I'm just going to put it all over this. Whatever. So, then you let it sit after that for... Uh, how long do you let it sit? Like 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I usually do even longer... I usually, it says 10 to 15, but I usually do like an hour. You can do overnight even if you want. Um, I've typically found for me, because it is so strong, like an hour is good. So that's what we're going to be doing. Woo, just kicking it on. But yeah, it literally feels like it's clay, like it is clay. So you kind of feel like you're doing like an at-home spa treatment. It's very into that. Okay, I'm going to let this sit on my face and come back and rinse it off for you guys. All right, so it has been about half an hour and I'm just gonna take my mask off. Um, I've done this a couple different ways, um, like with a washcloth, without, stuff like that. Um, but today I'm just gonna do it, there we go, um, without a washcloth, so we'll see. Just gonna kind of
And then the place that I usually do this in my routine is um, after my cleanser, before my moisturizer. And so I typically do it at night just because that's when I typically have more time to let it sit on my face. Um, but you can do it, you know, morning or even daytime if that's easier for you. Um, but the masks that we have, both of them I'd recommend just doing two, two give or take, so one or three times a week. Um, kind of like every other day kind of deal. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And be blessed.